Luke chapter 5, verse 5. Another story of failure until the shepherd of his soul arrived. The Bible says Simon looked at Jesus and said, You don't know what we have been through, Jesus. We have toiled all night and we caught nothing. In other words, we went to the deep end of the water, of the river. We caught nothing. We tried the shallow end. We caught nothing. We tried all the techniques in this world. We caught nothing. We just kept on failing and failing and failing and failing. If that is like you, like Peter, you try the deep hand, no fish. You try the shallow hand, no fish. You tried all the techniques you have ever known, no success. I prophesy upon your life as well. Just as Peter met the shepherd of his soul and failure gave way to success. As you are hearing the word of God today, in whatever area of your life you have failed before, may you begin to experience success in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said in verse 6, Peter decided to do what the shepherd said. He said, okay, even though we have failed before, we have failed all night, but because you have told us to go this direction, we will go. The Bible said when they did, they caught so much fish that their nets broke. In other words, they went from massive failure to massive success. Why don't you rise on your feet and cry to God? Lord, in any area of my life that I have failed before, give me a massive success. Success that is bigger, bigger, bigger than anything I can imagine with my brain. Cry to God. They went from massive, massive failure to massive success. Lord, in every area of my life that I have failed, in every area of my life that I have not been successful, maybe it is in your marriage, maybe it is in your business, maybe it's concerning your children, maybe it's concerning your health, in that aspect of your life that you have failed, cry to God and say, God, you looked at Peter, and you turn this failure into success. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I lift up my voice unto you, turn my failure to success. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed.